Yep. Back out. No. Back in. Um, I'm just going to show this little bit of video uh, because I've never been off for four weeks. I don't know. I don't know what's happening with this weather like. The weather's just absolutely terrible. So me, Mark, Mark and Mark, the four Marks. Went uh, out to, the plan was to go to High Pike, up near Bowscale Town, up Mungrisdale, and then it's to Caldebeck. There's loads of different ways to go. And we were going to pitch up there in the big tent, I mean, Mark, in the big tent, because we were expecting bad weather. Um, but things took a turn. So what we did was we had a pint in the the mill, the mill in at Mungrisdale, and we headed back. Decided to go, keep it simple. Go to Hallinfell, just to, just so we could get out, like you know. But as we were driving, um, we came on the 66, went down towards Pooley Bridge. You can't go from Patterdale side because Pooley Bridge is still closed, they're still working on it. So you've got to come in the other side. Um, and we went along the road to Howtown. To go to Hallinfell. And the, the road was, it was just underwater. So Ull's water had come right up, all the way up onto the road. It was throwing waves up. I've got a couple of bits of footage which I'll put on. But I, I think I would, we would have got through because it didn't look deep. It didn't look that bad, and you could still see the road. You could see where the road went, so it looked all right. But um, we were thinking that in the morning, because it was still going to be raining, like heavy rain forecast, that that road would just get worse and worse. And if it got covered, if it got so deep that we couldn't drive back. That would be where the problem was. So, with that in mind, because when you drive along that road to Howtown, there's only one way in and out. You can't you can't keep driving if you know what I mean. Come around, there's no passes or anything. You've got to come back the same way. So with that in mind, we just binned it off. So, phew, bit of a disappointment, like, but you've got to you've got to just be careful. It's not it's not so much the weather this time. We know it was going to be windy and raining, but that wind was due to drop around about six, seven o'clock. That was the forecast, the MWIS weather forecast, not the not that BBC app. So the wind was going to drop, so it would have been all right up the up the height. But um, now it was that road. That road looked as if it was going to get deeper. There's only so much you can put your car through, you know. I think anything more than a foot, you're asking for trouble. So we just binned it off. So that's it. This is the shortest little snippets of the trip that we took, just to let you see how bad it was on the roads. Hopefully, although looking at the forecast, the long range forecast, not for much better. It's still rain forecast, loads of rain. So fingers crossed for the lakes, you know, it's just, it's a nightmare. It's getting absolutely battered, like. As is everywhere else, but I mean, I haven't been anywhere else. I've just been up the lakes. All the all the rivers are flooded. All the fields are full of water. It just needs to stop. So I've been looking at the forecast. I might be out next week. It'll just be a solo. Everybody's busy, so I'll just be out on my own. Not sure. Let's play it by ear. See how it goes. So, just have a look at this little bit of footage. Short video. Just just an update. We'll uh, hopefully see you on the next one. <laughs> Bloody weather. We might not be coming. Fuck off! Hey, man. Eight 
18 pound for it. And it's really good. How far was Helen Fell from here? Still quite a way, like. Is it? Too far to walk? Aye. Uh, 